Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse today, Monday, September 26th. We're covering the courthouse. Now, it's going to be, we're covering the Trevor Milton trial here in SDNY. We're covering the Tom Barrick trial in EDNY, but both trials are off for today and tomorrow for Rosh Hashanah. So we're going to be looking into some other cases, including the magistrate's court in both places, where often no one else is covering it. So we're going to be covering it. And in Milton news, I can say this, over the weekend or early this morning, um, there's some filing of already the jury instructions. What most people don't, this trial is moving along pretty quickly at a fast clip. It'll pick up Wednesday and it's possible that the government will close its case on Thursday or maybe Friday. Friday afternoon there'll be a charge conference and uh, I, definitely ne by, 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 by next week, maybe as early as a week from today, closing arguments and then the jury will deliberate on the future and fate of Mr. Trevor Milton and to some degree Nicola, but we'll have more on that. We're, we're, we're writing about it all, all over the place, including on Patreon. Now, per the Barrick trial started last week with two, two days of, uh, of, of opening statements and then witnesses, uh, then it took Friday off. We're going to be covering this one closely. Uh, this distinction between FARA and, and Section 951, we're getting a lot of uh, pushback from, like, I, I'm calling, going to call them bots, or maybe they're trolls. Who knows what they are? Like, Pro-UAE people saying there's no evidence. I mean, it's an interesting statute, so I definitely, even if he's convicted, I assume that Barrick would, would appeal. There was a guy, Rafikian, that did appeal a 951 conviction in the Eastern District of Virginia. But there's a lot of evidence. I mean, it, things do not... Well, look at the indictment and ask yourself whether they're all lying about these meetings and the taking of notes on speeches and the Muslim ban. It's going to be a very interesting case. And this leads, as always, uh, back to the United Nations, where just today's the tail end of the UN General Assembly. We're going to cover it, including the rights of reply. Dictators from North Korea, Cameroon are speaking, and then there'll be, I think, a, a, a shit show of uh, rights of reply. But this week, the U.S. contingent, uh, Biden, but Blinken and, and uh, Linda Thomas-Greenfield, they were all praising the UAE, despite evidence that they're totally willing to violate U.S. law to influence. It doesn't matter exactly which political party. They'll do it. And they have done it, and there were no repercussions. So we're going to be writing a big a lot about that. Inner City Press, we continue.